This year, our 4-H club had a goal to serve our community as much as possible. Whenever a service opportunity presented itself, we strived to help out as much as we could. As a result, our 4-H club managed to help with Bear River Fest and to make a quilt for the Make a Child Smile program. As a bonus, we also picked up trash for the fire department and painted bleachers for the fairgrounds. I feel that our 4-H club had a very successful year in helping out the community. Uh, my name is Becky Frame. I am a leader with the Wranglers Club and I am also on the committee for the Bear River Fest, which is where we are at doing our service project. Um, the Bear River Greenway is a, the Bear Board is a non-profit board that um, takes care of the Bear River Greenway and kind of has the vision for this whole area. Um, to be a natural resource right in downtown Evanston and our service project is kind of to teach the kids in Evanston about all the natural resources, plants, animals, fish that they can find in or around Evanston. Most of these th animals can be found close to the Greenway. Um, we're kind of praying there's not a bear on the Greenway but um, it's to teach the kids natural stewardship and um, that they're responsible for keeping these animals their habitats and, and conservation and just what they can do in their own community. It's just as simple as teaching, helping teach little kids what a fox and a wolf is and um, that it's also fun and that they need to go learn and experience about animals and so that's why we're here today. I have been helping out kids um, find stuff like this. These are hidden everywhere, right up there, and we set scavenger hunt for little kids. And it's important for our 4-H kids to do service projects like this because it shows leadership. They have to help teach the younger kids, and um, even some of our younger kids are need to learn leadership skills and organization skills. They had to help set this up and um, get the organize all the pictures and figure out what they were because some of the birds have really weird names and they all kind of look like. Um, and it also is, it's good for them in the sense that, so on the responsibility and um, respect, they have to learn to respect the environment and also learn to respect other people and the, um, the kids that are here that they're helping. What I liked about this project was helping all the little kids and I learn about the animals and plants of Wyoming. This is a good opportunity for me to learn about plants and animals. Our second project was the Make a Child Smile Quilt Program. What this is, is that people make quilts for sick children at the Primary Children's Medical Center. Quilts are not judged on sewing skill, but on the size of smile it gives a sick child. We began our project with our club drawing pictures, scribbles, and patterns all over our quilt fabric with Sharpie markers. Once rubbing alcohol was poured all over our drawings and we washed the fabric, it created a bit of a tie-dye effect and our quilt was ready to tie. Club members met at our leader's house and took turns tying our quilt. Once complete, a club member sewed it all together. So, uh, what was your favorite part of this project? It was probably tying the knots. All the time you do. My favorite part about the quilt was that I was helping a kid happy and making them happy. Um, I think it will benefit a lot of children because we put a lot of hard work into it. We tried, we tried a lot of stuff, and I think this will turn out really great for the people that the kids that need it. How do you think that this will benefit the children? Well, it'll keep them warm during the cold winters, and it'll give them something happy to look at when they're sad. What is something that you learned today? Um, how to tie a four square knot. I've learned The county maintenance crew allowed our livestock kids to use some bleachers to paint pen boards on. As a way to show our appreciation, we repainted the bleachers with a fresh coat of white paint. 
While painting those pen boards and bleachers, club members noticed some litter along the fence at the fire station. Club members pitched right in and picked up all of the litter. So whether it's teaching kids about our ecosystem at the Bear River Fest, or a quilt to put a smile on a sick child's face, or even repaying an act of kindness, or recognizing a need and pitching in to help, the Wranglers Club is actively helping our community to become a better place.